introduce you to my friend, Miss Mary. And she's come here all the way from the Wade House. You guys been to the Wade House before, ever? Remember where the Wade House is? Okay, well, we're gonna let Miss Mary tell you all about the Wade House and the exciting things happening there. Yeah, so welcome. I'm so glad to see so many smiling faces. Um, so Wade House, is a pretty cool spot that is not too far from here. It only takes about 20 minutes in the car to get there, um, but it started back way, way, way back in 1850 when you had to take a stagecoach to get there. Has anybody ever seen a stagecoach before? Do you know what those are? It's like a fancy wagon that's pulled by horses. Have you, have you ever seen maybe a video of horses pulling a wagon? Um, so horses would pull wagons, and that was how people traveled way before they had cars, way before they had planes. Um, so people would travel by what were called stagecoaches, um, pulled by horses. And so the Wade House was special because it was a spot where people would stop on the stagecoach. Um, and we have lots of fun things going on at Wade House. Um, so in just a couple weeks, on April 27th, we have Bookworm Gardens coming to Wade House. Have you guys been to Bookworm Gardens before? Has anybody been to Bookworm Gardens? A whole bunch. A whole bunch. I love Bookworm Gardens. I'm so excited. They are coming to Wade House. So some friends from Bookworm Gardens are going to be there, and we're going to do some really fun projects. We'll plant some seeds to grow in our gardens, and we'll make a fun craft, and we'll read some stories. Um, so I hope some of you might be able to join us for that. That's on April 27th. And then we have our opening day on May 25th. So that's when we open for the season and our whole site opens. And we have horse-drawn wagon rides every single day. And um, we do tours of, our, of the Wade House. And you can see a blacksmith working. If you've ever seen a blacksmith before, that's really cool. Um, so lots and lots of fun stuff going on. And then we do sheep shearing on June 1st. Um, so if you've ever seen sheep get a haircut, or if you've never seen sheep get a haircut, that's a fun thing. Um, and then we do our dairy days, June 8th and 9th. Um, so if you want to come help make ice cream and cheese and butter and then get to snack on those things, um, that's really fun. So those are the things we have coming up soon, and that's all on our website, too. What I want to start with is let's think a little bit about what life might have been like for pioneers. Do you think pioneers had TV? No, no TV. Do they have light bulbs? No, they didn't have electricity. Um, and they didn't have TV. How did they get around? Could they get in the car? No, they couldn't drive a car, so you would take a horse-drawn wagon or use what? Feet. Your feet. You might just walk places or ride a horse. Um, so has anybody ever had the power go out at their house before? Yeah? So you know a little bit what it's like um, not to have electricity. What kind of things do you do when the power goes out? Or when maybe you're just doing no technology? What do you do? Put a flashlight on. Oh, put a flashlight on? That's a good thing. The pioneer equivalent of that probably would have been lighting a candle instead of a flashlight because they didn't have flashlights then. Um, what things do you do for fun if the power goes out? play games absolutely so pioneers would have played all kinds of games and we'll do a few of those games today anything else you think people might have done to have fun when you don't have tv we read, a read a book absolutely they did lots and lots of reading books we're in a good spot for reading books aren't we and we'll read a book later too um one thing, and this is something that people still do today, is they would dance and they would have parties. Um, so we're actually gonna learn a couple dances that are like dances that pioneers and settlers would have done. Does that sound fun? So I'm gonna have everybody stand up and we're all gonna hold hands in one big circle. Um, and we'll start with a circle dance. Come on over and join us. Do you wanna do a dance with us? It's gonna be fun. We're gonna make a big circle. Do you wanna come dance with us? 
Come on over. We're going to make a circle. We'll make sure we have space for everybody. There we go. <laughs> All right. So before we start the music, we're going to practice some of the things. So someone's actually going to be calling this one in the video that we're going to watch. But we're going to start with um, a jump hold. So we're going to jump and kick our foot and hold it. And then kick our other foot and hold it. So we're going to go jump hold, jump hold, jump hold, jump hold. And then we'll do that a few times. And then we're going to circle all to the right. So let's go this way around the circle. We're going to make a big circle. Circle, 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 circle. And then we're going to stop. And we're going to circle back the other way. Circle, 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 circle. And those are all the steps we need to know for this dance. Um, so we'll go ahead and Miss Allison can start our music for us. And we'll do this dance to music. And if you want to join us, Feel free at any point. Hop on in. Oh, jump hold. Jump. 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 And then we're going to go the other way. Ready? Jump hold. Jump hold. Jump, jump, jump. 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 Are you ready to circle? And then back the other way. Keep going. Are you ready to jump? Jump hold. Jump hold. Jump. 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 Jump hold. Jump hold. Jump. 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 Jump hold. Jump hold. Jump. 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 Jump hold. Jump hold. Are you ready to circle? And then back the other way. Keep going. Last time. Jump, 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 jump. Keep going. Good. Look at those speedy feet. Ready to circle? And we're going to go back the other way. Olay! Yay! Awesome job, everybody. So that's a circle dance. And that's kind of like a dance that some of the pioneers would have done. Whew. Was that fun? I have one more dance for you. And this one's a little bit different. We're going to make two lines. So we'll hold hands on one side of the line and then hold hands on the other side and we'll face each other. Will you hold my hand? Or we can just stand next to each other. That's okay. Will you hold my hand? Thank you. Will you join us? Thanks. So what we're going to do, um, and we'll start the music in a second, but we'll walk through it without music first, is we're all going to walk towards each other. And we can high five our partner if you want to high five the person in front of you. And then we'll walk back together. And then we're going to walk up and high five our partner again. And then come back. And then what we're going to do, I'm going to trade spots with you for a second so I can show everybody what to do. You're going to grab hands with your partner across. So actually, I'll just show you guys what to do. So the first, last two people on the end are going to hold hands. And you're going to skip down the middle. And then you're going to step back. Do you want me to show you? We here. So if we were standing on opposite sides, we're going to skip down the middle. And then you would go back to the side you came from. And then the next two people are going to go 
skip down the middle, split off, and then everybody else do it. I'll so that's, there we go. Perfect. Thanks, Allison. Skip, 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 and then we'll come back, and then the next two people would go skip, 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 skip. Does that make sense? Should we try it with music? Does everybody want to try it first without music? We'll just jump in. We can do it. Do it with my mom. You do, do you want to be across from your mom? If you want to be across from somebody um, that you came with, you can do that because then you get to skip with that person. That's a good idea. I didn't think of that before. So you can think about if you want to be across from somebody to skip with that person. Um, so think about if you want to be across from the person you want to skip with, or if you don't care who your partner is to skip with. I'll be your partner. All right. <laughs> I can, we can, there you go. Perfect. And then I'll go, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. We're good. <laughs> All right. So our first thing is going to be just walking forward. High fives, walking back, and then we'll walk forward. High fives, walk back, and then we'll do our skips. Sound good? All right. We'll let it play for just a second first. All right, ready to walk forward? And walk forward again. And high fives. You ready to skip with me? Oh, well, high five one more time. You ready? Do you want to? Oh, you want to skip with? There you go. And then they're gonna split off. Go right back there. And then we're gonna skip. And then you'll go right there. I guess we could have just skipped and then skipped back. That might have been easier. <laughs> Ready? And do your skips. We'll scooch down this way. Uh oh. Do you want to skip again? We can skip again. And we'll take steps down so we're not hitting the camera. You ready? What if we do our long lines again and do claps? Ready? What do you think? Should we all take a bow? Great job! We can always do more skips if we want to do more skips, if that was a fun thing. Yay, more skips? You want to do some skips? We can all just skip around too. You want to go back? We'll switch it up. Do you want to skip? No. Do you want to skip? <laughs> All right. Well, awesome job, everybody. Thanks for dancing with me. So those were some, oh, yeah, we'll read a story. I'm going to get a drink of water. Okay. So if you all want to come closer, Miss Mary's going to read us a story based on the Little House on the Prairie books. All right, I'm going to scooch up a little bit. So this book is called Dance at Grandpa's. And the dances that they'll be doing in this book are a little bit like the dances that we just did. Has anybody read any of the Little House books? Do you know about Laura Ingalls Wilder? Yeah, famous Wisconsinite. So nice. Shot of a winter scene with a little log cabin and an owl. Once upon a time, a little girl named Laura lived in the big woods of Wisconsin in a little house made of logs. She lived there with her pa, her ma, her big sister Mary, her baby sister Carrie, and their good old bulldog Jack.
One winter morning, everyone got up early, for there was going to be a big party at Grandpa's house. While Laura and Mary ate their breakfast, Pa packed his fiddle carefully in its box and put it in the big sled waiting by the gate. The air was frosty cold, but Laura, Mary, Carrie, and Ma were tucked in snug and warm under robes in the sled. The horses pranced, the sleigh bells rang merrily, and they went off through the big woods to Grandpa's house. So there's a horse-drawn vehicle like we were talking about. It did not seem long before they were sweeping into the clearing at Grandpa's house. Grandma stood at the door smiling and calling them to come in. Laura loved Grandma's big house. It was fun to run from the fireplace at one end of the big room all the way to Grandma's soft feather bed on the other side. The whole house smelled good. There were sweet and spicy smells coming from the kitchen and the smell of hickory logs burning with bright, clear flames in the fireplace. Before long, it was time to get ready for the party. Laura watched while Ma and the aunts made themselves pretty. They combed their long hair and put on their best dresses. Laura thought Ma was the most beautiful of all in her green ruffled dress. Soon, people began to come to the party. They came on foot through the woods with their lanterns, and they came in sleds and wagons. Sleigh bells were jingling all the time. The big room was filled with tall boots and swishing skirts, and there were ever so many babies lying in rows on Grandma's feather bed. Laura thought Baby Carrie was the prettiest. That's her little sister, her baby sister. I'm not sure which one it is, maybe this one. Then Pa took out his fiddle and began to play. All the skirts began to swirl and all the boots began to stump. Swing your partners, Pa called. Laura watched Ma's skirt swaying and her dark head bowing and thought she was the loveliest dancer in the world. Soon it was time for dinner. The long table was loaded with pumpkin pies, dried berry pies, and cookies. There was cold boiled pork and salt risen bread. How sour the pickles were! They all ate until they could eat no more. The fiddling and dancing went on and on until it was time for Laura and the other children to go to bed. When Laura woke up, it was morning. There were pancakes and maple syrup for breakfast, and then Pa brought the horses and sled to the door. Pa tucked Laura and Mary and Carrie and Ma into the sled. Grandma and Grandpa stood calling goodbye, goodbye, as they rode away into the big woods, going home. What a wonderful party it had been. What do you think? So they probably would have done some dances like we just did at that party. And some other ones. They danced a lot longer than we did, I think. <laughs> um, 
So next up, we'll sing some nursery rhymes and maybe do some dances if you want to do some dances for those. I think Allison's going to play for us. Does anyone know what instrument this is? Guitar. Oh, it's like a guitar. Guitar has six strings. This instrument has one, two, three, four strings. Does anyone know what instrument this is? It's called a ukulele. <laughs> All right. So I thought this was kind of interesting. We're gonna sing a song. A nursery rhyme called Bob Bob Black Sheep. Does anyone know the words to Bob Bob Black Sheep? That's right. And you know what? This melody might sound familiar because it's also the same melody as Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and the ABC song, which I think was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, Mary, what did you bring along with you? Today? I brought some wool from a sheep. So I'm going to pass that around so we can all feel it while we sing Ba Ba Black Sheep. This was a brown sheep, not a black sheep. <laughs> okay, so we all know the words, and if we don't, we're going to sing it a few times so we'll all learn it. Ready, Mary? You guys. Ready? Here we go. Ba Ba Black Sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for my master and one for my name. One for the little boy who lives by the lane. Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One more time. Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for my master and one for my maid. One for the little boy who lives by the lane. Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for my master and one for my dame. One for the little boy who lives down the lane. Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. <laughs> I didn't pass this around, but I also brought, does anybody know what this is? Yarn. Yarn. You know what yarn comes from? Sheep. Sheep. Not always, but this yarn does. And this yarn came from the Wade House sheep, and it was dyed with black walnuts. Um, so if anybody's ever seen a black walnut tree, they drop those weird green balls that look kind of like limes on the ground, and then they turn black and get really weird. That's what we used to dye that. It used to be white. So believe it or not, that Ba Ba Black Sheep was written in something like 1730s. 1730s. Long, wow. long, 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 long time, time ago. ago. And I don't know if you all know this one. If you don't, we'll learn it tight. Here we go around the mulberry bush. So Mary, the Wade House, about what time period? Are we looking it's about at? 1850 was when it was built. Um, and then the Wades lived there for a really long time, until the 1940s. So um, they would have they, may ha song. they might have been singing this song. 1857. So should we all stand up? Mary's going to teach us yeah. actions here. So if we want to, we can do a circle for the first part, or you can just spin by yourself if that's more fun. Spin by yourself. <laughs> um, ready? Ready? Yeah, do you guys know this song? Here we go. 
the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush. We can, here we go round the mulberry bush on a cold and frosty morning. That's okay. <laughs> Go round the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush. Here we go round the mulberry bush on a cold and frosty morning. What do we do when we get up on a cold and frosty morning? What's the first thing we do? Maybe we wash our face. Should we wash our face? This is the way we wash our face, wash our face, wash our face. This is the way we wash our face on a cold and frosty morning. Up and dressed. What do you think? Did your hair get tangled in the morning? Do you have to comb it? Maybe we should comb our hair. <laughs> this is the way we comb our hair, comb our hair, comb our hair. This is the way we comb our hair on a cold and frosty morning. Hmm, what else do we do? What do you think you'd do with these? Brush your teeth, you got it. This is the way we brush our teeth, brush our teeth, brush our teeth. This is the way we brush our teeth on a cold and frosty morning. Okay, so mm. our face is washed. Our hair is combed, our teeth are brushed. What else do we do? Get dressed. Get dressed. Yeah, we better put on some clothes, right? Especially on a cold morning. Burr! <laughs> This is the way we put on our clothes, put on our clothes, put on our clothes. This is the way we put on our clothes on a cold and frosty morning. And we're back to around the mulberry bush. Here we go around the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush. Here we go around the mulberry bush on a cold and frosty morning. Look at those spins. That's perfect. Dance. We talked about playing games, and we have a game and craft that would have been something that kids back in the 1800s would have done. Has anybody ever seen one of these before? Have you done one? So cup and ball. Um, it's pretty tricky, and we'll see if I get it. It might take me 10 tries to do it. <laughs> what we're trying to do is get the ball. Woo, third try to land in the cup. So everybody's gonna get to make one of these and then you can practice doing it. But this is something that Pioneer Kids would have done a whole lot, especially when you don't have video games. No tablets, no TV, lots of playing with ball and cup. Um, so we will go make some of those. All right, so thank Mary for joining us all the way Thank you guys so much for coming and I hope you'll come visit me at Wade House this summer.